welcome to the show. My name is Joy Harrington. I am your host. Happy 2022. I hope you had an incredible new year. Something that I've really been thinking about the last few days as we have a new year, as we have a new month is how to have a month where you move the needle forward without being so hyper-focused on a goal. Because for years in my business, the way that I created was, what's the goal this month? What's the number I'm hitting? And then, okay, I'm just going to get into do mode to make that happen. And it kept me in this constant chase of every single month starting back over at zero, every single month having some number I was shooting for. And as soon as I knew what that number was, it's putting my head down and it's getting to work and it's hustling. And Every month doing that over and over and over again led to burnout. It led to lack of joy. It made it very much about strategy instead of having fun or the life that I wanted to create. And after a while, you look up and think, why am I even doing this? Right. And that's something that I really did in network marketing. And it's something that I've wanted to change in my business. And when you have a business, you want to keep moving the needle forward. You have things that you would like to accomplish, things that you would like to see happen. You have bills that you want to pay. You have money that you want to make. So how can you approach that in a way that fills you up, that inspires you, that actually nurtures you instead of being this drain. And so I want to teach you today a process that I use to move the needle forward in my business without just getting stuck in what's the goal, what's the number I'm heading now, head down and get to work because I'm actually much more of a creator I don't want to be a business person per se. I can get really stuck in just doing and just what are the tasks that I need to do to make something happen. But actually my fun, my joy comes from creating my fun. My joy comes from something new, right? Not doing the same thing every single month. It comes from what can I create for fun? right? That's who I was as a kid. I love to create. I love to dance. I love to just do things that were fun. And so that's some of my superpowers is fun and bringing the fun back to what I'm doing. And if you're anything like me, I'm guessing you are, you're probably more feminine in nature, which means you want to be getting into more creative mode, fun, inspiration. You want to be working from that place to feed that feminine energy in you instead of getting stuck in masculine mode, which is just what's the goal? What's the structure? What's the strategy? So here's two questions you can ask yourself so that you can move the needle forward this month. Number one, what do I want? Now, this sounds like a simple question, but I want you to be careful with it because the first answer that comes to mind might not actually be the true answer. The first answer that comes to mind, it's going to be really easy to put a number there. It's going to be really easy to put a goal there that everybody else is shooting for or that you've heard you should shoot for or that other people are doing and it seems like you should or that you've been told you should for success. Or maybe it's even an inner thing that you've put on yourself, an inner expectation that you've put on yourself but it doesn't mean that it's what you actually want. So this is not about what should you do. This is about what do you want? And I don't want you to stop at a number or stop at money. Those things can be included. But when you think about your whole month, what do you want in your marriage? What do you want as a mom? What do you want in your friendships? What do you want for fun? for your hobbies? What do you want in experiences? What do you want in food, right? Like, what do you want, want this month? If you can pick anything and you can design your dream month, what do you want? You might have to ask yourself this question a few times. And I want you to write out everything, everything that you want. Now, For the sake of moving the needle forward, I do want you to pick something in different categories for you to focus on, right? So like you could pick something for your marriage, you could pick something for your business, you could pick something, right? But make sure it's what you actually want and not what you think you need or should do. 
then you're going to say, how do I want to feel? For the entire month, everything that I do, everything that I experience, how do I want to feel? I did this last May for my biggest month ever. And it's not because someone taught me. It's just kind of because I got to this place where I was like, how I feel is more important than what I'm doing. (laughs) How I'm feeling in my life every day is what's going to make me feel happy and fulfilled or not. And so I focused on how I wanted to feel. And every single day I pictured myself getting to the end of the month, having felt that way every day for that whole month. And it would move me to tears because it was me feeling joy and me feeling so present in every moment with my kids, with my husband, with my family, like literally just being in the moment and allowing myself to feel joy and to feel happy. And I focused on that. And that to me was the ultimate priority was how I wanted to feel. So I want you to ask yourself, how do you want to feel in all of this that you're doing? And then based on what you said you want to create or based on what you said you want, sorry, and based on what you said you want to feel, what inspired action would you like to take that will support both of these? It's a question that I ask myself, what inspired action do I want to take that will support both of these? So I'll give you an example. Today is the 4th of January, and some of what I want is to be creating more things in my business to bring in more passive income so that by the time August comes and I'm having another baby, that I can be less in the business, but still having a way to be bringing more passive income, right? And so for me in the past, I would have thought about that and I would have been like, okay, get to work, start strategizing. What course are you going to sell? Blah, 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 blah. And instead I said, no, I want to be in create mode. What do I want to create both for myself to experience this month and to help my business? And so based on how I wanted to feel, I wanted to feel excited. I wanted to feel inspired. I wanted to feel joy. I wanted to feel alive. That means doing different things. I can't do the same thing over and over and over again and feel that way. So I texted my assistant and said, Hey, let's meet up for coffee today. And maybe we'll even take some pictures for social media. Cause I'm sure I'll need some this month. And Hey, you know what? Let's sit down and talk about the month and how we want to feel, what we want to create and start kind of dreaming together and envisioning together. And actually let's make vision boards. So she's bringing the vision board stuff. I'm meeting her right after this. We're just going to sit and make vision boards. And old me would have been like, "Ah, that's not going to make you money. New me is like, I don't care because the how is not up to me. The how is up to God. My job is to follow the inspired action. And that's what I feel inspired to do today. I feel inspired to meet up, have some fun with my assistant, dream about the month, create vision boards, focus on how I want to feel. And then we'll see from there. We'll see where I'm guided to next. But I promise you that your job is not the how, that's God's. Your job is the feeling and your job is the inspired action. What are you inspired to do? Not what do you think you quote unquote should do? What are you inspired to do? What the question is not, what do you think you should do? So when you have these two questions, what do you want? How do you want to feel? What inspired action do you feel led to take that would give you these feelings and honor what you say you want? I know that showing up, creating vision boards, talking about the month, talking about what I want, talking about what she wants is going to honor the fact that I do have a goal and I would like to start creating some more passive income, more regular income in my business, because I know I'm going to have some time to sit down with her and to start coming up with ideas based on doing vision boards. I also know that ideas come to me when I'm having fun, right? Now the vision board thing is just going to be fun. It's going to help me feel inspired. It's going to help me feel motivated. It's going to support the feelings I want to feel. I don't know what action I'll feel inspired to do tomorrow, but that's not my job today. My job is to do today. So ask yourself these two things every single day and then meditate on it. 
I love doing this. I ask myself these two questions and then I meditate on it. I visualize myself at the end of the month, both getting what I want and having felt the way that I want to feel. And then after I get into those feelings in my visualization, my meditation, I ask, what do I feel inspired to do today to make that happen, to take a step forward? And it might be something that you're like, that doesn't make sense. And that's okay. Because that is God and you working together to co-create something. And you have no idea how it's going to come about. You have no idea what he can use. That's not your job. That's his. So use these two questions to start moving the needle forward in your business. Yes, absolutely. You can sit down and say, okay, based on these two questions, what would I like to strategize? You absolutely can. Today, I'm just going with inspired action. I'm sure there will be some days where I say, what would I like to strategize? You can't really mess it up. You can't really do it wrong. So just let yourself go with where you feel led after these questions. I hope you love this episode. Tag me on Instagram. Tell me what your answers are. What are you wanting? What do you want to feel? And what are you feeling inspired to do? I would love to chat with you. It's joyharrington.ig. I will see you over on the gram.